the hunt just got more releases for the classic version like we got a lot of more items and a lot of more leaks for you guys that i want to show you right before the event starts in a few days roblox the classic is officially coming to a start and we are excited for this game to drop in a few days so we can go ahead and earn like around 17 prizes yeah there's a lot of things to earn obviously i made a leaks video already so watch that if you haven't but yeah all the ticks and stuff that we're getting called back for is just really cool i made a video on the four other items plus the t-shirt and how to get all five or pretty much all that and here's the launcher for roblox the classic it's for the youtubers who are on the star program unfortunately i do not meet the requirements but it's a really cool thing to have that they're launching up high what i meant by that i meant how to get the t-shirt and i basically showed the leaks not really how to get those items yet but they're a part of the track i basically ex explained that in both of those videos here are the first set of items golden version at the top we have like this little wings like a golden crown i don't know how it's classic themed it could be a callback to like winning different types of games back in the day really cool item regardless it does look really nice we also have this golden helmet for knights which is a callback to like the red cliff thing and all that i really like that it's really nice we also have a bucket hat with horns. Now, I love that thing back then. And the fact that it has cute little eyes on it just makes it a hundred times better. It's a really nice touch. Then we have this like vending machine, which is really cool to have because I feel like a vending machine item with all the classic like drinks. This is really cool in the snacks. Then we have a normal red cliff helmet, which is purple, which does look very nice as well. Then we have these items right here, the normal version of the crown with the wings. Again, it looks really nice and clean. I really like the fiery touch with it and all the particles we also have like these little capes yes they are capes there's like a normal version with the words on it and then a golden version there's not much to say it does look nice though aesthetically and then the pie for the star creators it's a callback to like the like the pie gear that people used to throw in each other's faces all the way back then it's just a really nice touch i do like the starting middle too it's a very nice item all four of them do look cool we have a few more for you but yeah these do look really nice i'm excited to see how much prizes we got because wow we have around 17 prizes already if you watch my other leaks video and then how to get the free t-shirt we already got one item which is the t-shirt and all this is really cool Thankfully, no more Arthro has been, so that's just that one jacket. Here are the other items. We have, like, this pie backpack. It is a backpack. It's very nice colored, and I do like the fade effect with the little cherry and all the cream. It looks just so nice. Definitely a good item. And then a callback to the box heads that we used to get that people used to wear. It's very nice. I really like it. Also, that pie is, like, a callback to the classic gear, if you guys didn't know that. But... Yeah, both look really phenomenal. I like all the prizes. The only bad prize I would say is literally the jacket. Even the classic t-shirt was better. But yeah, all these look nice. I like the blue bow tie and the sunglass and the little hat on the cow, like the cow, the cow, not cowboy, cardboard. I'm losing my words. That's what happens when you talk all day and then decide to make a video immediately. But yeah, okay. And then we got this as well. The normal version of the bucket, which is the last leak I do have for items. This is the normal version of the bucket. I like this one better than the gold one, in my opinion. It matches the hunt themed items. So if you want to make an avatar with this as well, th definitely a good option. Really good item. I genuinely like it. Now, besides from items, I also have a few other leaks that you guys might be interested in. So I'll be showing those in this video just to get them out the way. This will probably be one of my last leaks video unless more items get released, but I'm pretty sure this might be all of them. Here we go with another leak. So we have like this little like we have these two swords and then this little like I don't know really what to call it. It's just a guarding tool. I guess it could be. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what these are for exactly, but they're most likely for the bee swarm simulator thing. But just in case there aren't and they're in game items or stuff that we have to use during the hunt, I wanted to just, you know, show them. They all look nice. My favorite is the sparkly sword, but yeah, all three of them look really nice. So yeah, those are all the leaks I do have for you. It's exciting to see what we got. I also have the currency. So ticks are you're able to find during the games when you're like running around. And then the blue tokens that are what you get from completing the quest in all the games. Those will help you buy the items. The, yeah, but that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, sorry for the stutter again. I was talking pretty much all day for a presentation that lasted hours. So sorry about that. But regardless of that, I really hope this video was informative and helpful. I'm excited for the hunt. I hope you are as well. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next one.